It's Friday, Friday, finished Friday. Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and I feel like it's been a minute, but it really hasn't. It's just at that one of those stages where time's being extra interesting. It also means I don't remember what I've showed you and haven't showed you. I had to kind of look back through my videos. Um, I hate it when that happens. I, I'm struggling to record for a few reasons, personal reasons, like there's mental health, physical health, family things. My daughter did break up with her boyfriend. So there's drama and stress and extra company and lots going on. Um, and then I'm struggling because the lights, like I have a soft box light. This is the one that bugs me the most, but watch what happens when I turn it off. Sorry, bump the table. It goes so dark. That light makes such a difference. But it's like when I sit down and my brain goes, Ooh, and so I have a hard time. So for finished Friday, I don't have a lot of pictures. Did I say a lot of pictures? I don't want to have a lot of actual physical objects. Um, I finished this thing. Um, it was pain. It wasn't a fun project, but it sure helps to put these bottles in there. This was when we had no water bottles, so look, there was a uh, extra on the bottom shelf of the shelves. And those are all now inside or filled with water, and that's yay. It, it was an interesting project. I don't really have anything more to say about it, just that it's done. Yay! Uh, I guess I will say a little bit. So I started out doing a double crochet mesh, tried to become a do triple because I was like, this is taking too long. Didn't think until I was almost done that if I would have just changed the amount of stitches between each square, I probably would have been able to go faster because that's what ended up happening is I had bigger squares at the end. Um, I had gotten to a point where I just chained long things. In fact, I chained and then looped back down slip stitched or did a mesh stitch kind of thing over chain looped it back down until I got to one where it just ended in a chain some of them ended up longer than the others I was trying to measure not actually count so what happened at the end was I would get to where I was at the end of the loop and so I just kind of slip stitch across do my chains, five chains between each sink, attach to the next one, do my five chains until I got around again, and then I would do like a, I would yarn over four times and then put it in and pull through two, do, 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 do until it was off. And then I did my five chains and did that again. And I kept working like that where I either was attaching the chains or I do this, um, these extra long stitches with chains to try to balance it out until I got it to even. That's how I accommodated the extra long spaces. Um, anyway, I just really am grateful to have that done. It was a boring project. It's not aesthetic. It just is functional, but I needed it. So, um, And then I was working on a sock for Dobby, one of the bookmarks. Um, I was going to give it to one person, and then it didn't turn out right because brain here. I'll show you a picture in a minute, but I decided I didn't want to do as many rib stitching, so I knew I had to do extra stitches to cover that distance. Not a problem. Um, what was a problem is that I was like taking mental notes of this is how many you do in the pattern, then you do this many, then you do the heel, then you do this many, and then you do the toe. I was like, okay, I got it in my head, so I just have to come look at the pattern when I do the toe. I got things mixed up in my head. So you're supposed to have like 20 stitches after the cuff, which meant I was supposed to make like 25 stitches after the cuff. cuff. My brain said 10, so I did 14. So it ended up being short, which was cute in and of itself, but I was like, not what I wanted and not what I wanted to give away. Um, and so when I got to the toe, I didn't quite follow the directions exactly, but I figured it's fine. Here's a picture of it. It is super cute um, because my daughter did break up with her boyfriend. She was having a hard time. I gave it to her. I said, you have been presented with clothes. You are free. And she 
actually felt better. So, um, still a process that she's going through, but this is done. I've started another one. And then the last finished object is this tithing hat that I did finish. I have a new project I'm starting on Sunday. I can't wait to tell you about it, but not today because this is for finished objects or froggets because we're going to do some frogging or talk about some frogging. So I did finish this. Um, and my last tithing hat I know was kind of small. This one's actually a good man size hat. Um, it's a little bit slouchy on me, um, which means it will be perfect for most people. Let's have a smaller head. Um, I have a typical head for women's sizes, so and so it's smaller than a man's head. Um, if I really wanted to know if it would fit, I would put it on my daughter's head because she's got a larger head. And that's okay. We're just all built differently. I would not, however, put it on my son who has a small head for a man. He's just a slender person. It's amazing. Anyway, so that's done. And then for frog it, let's talk about what I frogged. So I put cast on alpaca socks. They are aqua colored, teal, dark teal color. Gorgeous color. I cast them on the year I was doing so many socks, which was the first year I was doing this channel, so 2022. And then I got so busy doing everybody else's socks, I put it on hold. And then when I came back to work on it, I kept messing up. And I was messing up a lot on, I messed up on bull socks and I messed up on one sock, had frog, had a whole bunch. It was just a mess. And they've just been sitting in there and every time I think about them, I would get discouraged and I'm like, I kind of want my socks, but eh, too much work. I decided I'm frogging them. And what I want to do with that yarn is make, kind. it's like, it's kind of a scarf that the center is wider so that if you need to, you can use it as a hood and kind of make a, have a hood. But I don't know how far the yarn will go, but I have thought for that. So if I do what's called a provisional cast on, what that does is, if I do a crochet one, you crochet a strip and then do your um, casting on, it's knitting, you do your casting on then, and then you can work your thing, but you leave this crochet hook on, or this crochet needle on the other side, and that actually holds the stitches that you can then come in and pick up and that side's live. So you have, so I can start in the center doing the hood stuff, work out and basically until I run out of yarn or work out a fart quite a ways and then cast on the other side and work out quite a ways. And what I figure is, what I'm thinking of doing is I will do the because what you'll what I can do is cast on a um, length that I need to go all the way here to make it work like a hood and cast out or knit so far do decreases until I get to a length um, at some point in time I'm going to put them to work two at a time um, so I will put this kind of on hold for a minute this side whatever side I'll put it on hold then come and pick up the stitches from that crochet um, thing that because you leave it live the live stitches and then knit from the other way and then you don't even have a seam it just looks like it's all knit in one piece but I can work off the other way what I'm thinking is work a little bit on both sides until it can or I don't even need to go very far but just work a little bit on both sides and then have them both on the thing and do kind of a magic loop style so that I'm working up both sides at the same time. Um, but both to help me get through it and so I know that they're the same length. But if I do that and I use one ball on one side and one ball on the other side, then however long it gets is however long it gets. I'm okay if it's a short scarf. I just want like the hooded thing and then scarf. And so that's what I'm thinking of doing with that yarn. I am sure that was pretty confusing to anybody who doesn't actually know about provisional cast sounds, and it may have even been confusing then. You guys are going. Yeah, I know it, I know it. 
Anyway, so that's what I frogged, and there were my finished objects. I think that's all the finished objects I've had since I've last seen you. One never knows. One never knows. Um, yeah. Anyway, remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!